It is Saturday here at Ogol Power Plant and we're gonna hop into the main session. There is no nap session, so whatever we find in this one is what we get. And so hopefully it's gonna be snoozing because that's when I find the Foy Coco. And now that it is weekend, I can sleep a long time, although this probably is not my actual sleep curve. You can see it has a little bit of a dip there in the beginning and at the end. And that's just how we do it here on the channel. So. We have a balance type. That is surprising. I probably should have not let that dip be so long at the beginning, but I'm really desperate for that sleep type, sleep type, sleep time, because my Sylveon is getting ridiculously close to 2000 hours. So every chance I get, I'm trying to stretch that curve. So let's see if we got any good Pokemon. And I can't believe I've been here for all these days and not yet hit the target where you can actually find eight spawns um the actual eighth spawn here is the good camp ticket so top belly quaxley not bad coquavel is one of the best pokemon in the game and so it may be the case that i'll settle on this one at least from the pokemon in the picture here i would say the quaxley here is the most interesting could also make use of another dedenne potentially although i already have a few that are good candidates for I'm just messing with you. I'm not going to catch another Dedenne. I have a very nice Dedenne. Okay, we have Pikachu. We have Ekans. Mr. Mime. Oh, I see a Whooper there. Whooper is one of my top hunts, so I want Whooper and Fococo. And aside from that, maybe an Onyx. That could be really nice. And I'm very surprised that I haven't seen the two-star Mr. Mime before, but it's actually very hard to come across Mr. Mime, which is one of the reasons why I think the Mr. Mime has been dethroned by the Shinx. Hey, wait, Buried Sleep? There are so many good hiding spots here at the Old Gold Power Plant, it's ridiculous. The Hide and Seek text channel in the North Hard Discord has been popping recently with some really, really funny uh, screenshots, so... First time I'm seeing Jolteon, that is really surprising. At least the first time I've seen the one star. If this Jolteon is hungry, I'm gonna feed it. And the reason is I need some candy conversion for the type candy. I don't know when we will be seeing any electric type candy. Maybe if the Cremomata comes back for the Halloween. But yeah, I need that Jolteon because I probably won't get a Jolteon on my own in terms of evolving an Eevee and so let's see if any of these are hungry at least one of them should be because of the good camp ticket it's the Geodude I definitely do not need the Geodude I'm super tempted to feed this Jolteon but I will wait around I will be here at gold, gold power plant for a while so hopefully I can find it hungry sometime all right whooper it is I don't mind a whooper I'm pretty excited about the Wooper. I want a cracked mushroom Pokemon, even though I have two Gengars at this point. My first Gengar is not perfect in terms of the ingredient list for mushrooms, although I don't mind all the herbs. And I have another Gengar. This is a little bit on the repeat for some of you. That is double mushrooms, but even that is not perfect. So if I can somehow find the Mono Mushrooms on the Quagsire, that would be amazing. So let's bring up Quagsire in the widget and get ready for a Pokemon review. Ooh, this is a close tie between Kukwavel and Wooper. Now, because I know Brovini has a shiny Quagsire, that is ridiculous. I'm always gonna send the Wooper candy to the friend list because for one, it's an S tier Pokemon, but I also know Brovini will definitely appreciate that candy. All right, let's have a look at this Whooper. It is what nature? Serious, which is neutral. What about the ingredient list? Is it triple mushrooms? It's not. I do not need potatoes in that second slot, so this is pretty much DOA. Speed inventory, okay. No ingredient finders, and that is actually the only thing I care about. I don't want no speed or inventory. I just want the ingredient finders. Uh, because long term, I'll be using Quagsire on a Suicune team and just I'm going to get those mushrooms from those productions from the Suicune. And at that point in time, 
You don't need the speed. You just need the correct ingredient list and as many of those ingredient finders as possible. So the strategy here at the Old Gold Power Plant this week has been quite successful, I would say. I spent the better of a week overstacking with my Entei onto the Typhlosion, the Ninetales, and Raichu. And then, lucky me, I rolled salads. And so not only have I been able to cook a lot of ninja salads this week, but I also managed to cook the new salad, the cross chop salad this week too. So maybe next week I get to work on those two new desserts, but for that I will need some coffee. I haven't encountered a single grubbin yet, which is unfortunate. And so I'm still waiting on that. And since grubbin is a dosing type, we can bring out the Vika Volt. I will need to be a little bit lucky with those sleep types. Although the next two weeks, there is going to be an event. And I think for me here on the main account, I'm just going to go on and stay here at the old gold power plant. I was considering to go back to the green grass aisle for this event, but I think there is a slight possibility that the Halloween event could happen here at the old gold power plant now that it is the favored area for the ghost type berry. Could I set myself up for disappointment? Could be. Although there is a decent strategy here in going back to Greengrass Isle the next three weeks to build up that area bonus to 75% so that when that Halloween event comes, you are ready to go. And not only that, during this two week event for the opening of Old Gold Power Plant and these new Pokemon, there's going to be a decent uh, spawn rate for those there too. And the requirement for actually finding Pokemon is much lower. So here at Old Gold Power Plant, it is around Master 1 that you need in order to get those 8 encounters, which is ridiculous. And I'm not even there despite all that work. So maybe tomorrow we will see the 1 million break. And then for that final sleep, we can have the full number of encounters. Now, don't really have much else in this video. I hope that your exploration of the old gold power plant is going well. And that you also notice that hopefully the sound in my videos has now gotten a bit of an improvement. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can leave a big old thumbs up if you're excited for some more content like this in the future. And in fact, it may actually stop altogether because here on the main account, I am experimenting with a weekly format instead of the daily format. Now the free to play series, gonna be daily, but this main account, we'll have to see.